Hello, welcome back to Spirit Fair. It's me, Aprustian, and Omeron. And we are doing shoot, I don't even know what anymore. Oh, we're taking Buck to the fires of Tondor because we think that if we can do more of his stuff, we might get more XP potions. I think we might know that for sure because I think you verified that. Because okay. we were so like, where's our XP potions? He likes comfort food. Oh, nice. That makes sense in retrospect. I can't believe we haven't discovered that already. As much as his taste buds cast a salivate spell of de delectation, his stomach lost its initiative roll. This is so good. <laughs> what a goob. Okay, so... Oh, yeah. Alright. So, Nord C. Pier... This is new. Oh yeah, we never came here. The Misty Woods. Yep. Do we want to check it out? Sure. On our way. Why not? Yeah. That was one of the places we discovered when we were filling in the map. Yeah. Oh, these need water. We need more tea and coffee for Elena. things for Elena. <laughs> beehive. The beehive won't happen until we get more XP potions. So. Yep. Oh, have you fed Jackie recently? No, don't go in the door. <laughs> okay, you feed him. <laughs> But we have some corn dogs that um books are giving us that we can give to Jackie. Oh, great. Garlic, onion, pine, sure. Missed. It's hard to tell in the fog. Hey, crystal glass sheet. That's kind of nice, right? Mm -hmm. That's one thing you don't have to make if we needed it. I know we needed a bunch of Electrum, but... I made all that. You did? Awesome. Actually, that's right. We ended up a little bit low on some of the um, improvements because we missed something when we did our survey of it. Did we ever finish that? I think so. Okay. Let's see how well I remember things. Just to say that at all. Oh, sheep. You're so hungry! I won't give you... I'll give you cherries. We have so many cherries. So many cherries. Oh, you poor thing. <laughs> we have a lot of peaches, too. I don't think sheep actually eat fruit, but it's all good. I am very curious what's going to be here. And I don't know if it's a place that like we would have been brought to by somebody, if it's just a matter of... Yeah, let's cut it down. Why not? <coughs> right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Perfect. I guess why come to the woods if you aren't going to cut it down? <laughs> there are resources, so there's copper. Wait, how do we get up there then? Do to dash up? Oh, nice.
Okay. Do we have to double jump? Oh, come on. It's hard to see when I can't see the tent. Sorry, but... Oh, I that should have done it. Oh, I should dash while I'm up. There we go. Sorry. Real tough to do. Okay. I'm mildly hoping it's like diamonds because we need diamonds, but I don't think diamonds actually. Yeah, I think it's gold. Okay, nonetheless, pretty good. Copper. Go for it. I wish it's something we could do where like you hit, then I hit, then you hit, then I hit, but it seems to get confused if we try. Oh, yeah. Okay. An upgrade. Perfect. Didn't have. Perfect. Help. Help. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't let me jump from the water into the boat. Like sometimes it does. And sometimes it doesn't. Okay. Silk fabric. We have the rest. Yeah. That'll be easy. I'm gonna go talk to Francis real quick. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else we can get from him towards Elena's stuff. Guys. Oh, right, we need one more octopus. So we have three snow crabs. I assume we have to catch those. Probably in a snowy area, if I had to guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're making the tea leaves and the celery. Citrine. And four more diamonds. Okay, so does he? He does, so if we get extra XP potions, we can get the citrine. Or the diamond, sorry. I think it was the citrine. Yes, okay, I'll just turn this in. If we need more bright yeah. jelly, we can get it. Yep. Okay. So that's something at least. I love the look on top of his face. Big eyes. <laughs> Doing the task. Okay. I think we can move on because just the one citrine isn't enough to get us to anything. Okay, I'll take us to Alex, and we can go from there. finish the Elena thing to upgrade everything though? Right? Like this is completing her errands with Francis. That's different. Hmm. I wonder maybe if we, we did. Maybe we did. I mean I'll take it. I still think it's worth upgrading some stuff, but we'll start with it. Um Yeah, please. Although we can probably pull these so the next time we see Francis. This stuff. Just in case that's not enough for planting more celery. Okay, and then I'll 
I'll talk to Alex and then I'll water it <laughs> after we're traveling. Okay, nowhere to see Pierre. He's in the north. for the next big star. Let me be. Right. Did we just never go this far? Oh, these doors are locked. No, because we went up the lighthouse, right? Yeah. Let me do me in peace, please. Okay, yeah, because we obviously got this. Okay. Well, I think we need it. I'm gonna try to take the zip line up. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, that's right. The I remember doing this now, and then it comes over this other place. Yeah, I don't think I can get up there even with the dash. And you know what I'm gonna try. This would be a lot easier if you just gave me a key. Sorry too. Sing your praises in all the languages of Ramalda. 
But Commander, this bright our moment of joy can shine. We have to remain vigilant. Golgotha and his lackeys will probably be alerted by the sight of this glorious fire. And lurking in the branches, roll initiative! Fifteen! Great! Amidst the squalor of the exotic foliage, you can clearly decipher a group of orcs and goblins progressing towards your encampment. Getting closer! Springing from their retreat, they jump on you! Fight! <laughs> Will do. like that event, but it's like, oh, I struggle seeing when the cooldown's over, so I just have to mash the button. <laughs> A victory! The dust from what was an epic battle barely settles. Layers upon layers of evil carcasses litter the ground of the battlefield. You are exhausted, but once again, victorious. Make a perception check. Fourteen! Uh, success! As you observe your defeated enemies, you can only wonder where Gongata lies. He is nowhere to be seen! His pathetic retreat doesn't surprise you. He is a follower of Gorn Nimloth, after all, and his cowardice is notable. Quick, let's ride post haste! The next fire awaits! Onward! Perfect. Sandwich Walk in Hikarashima Lighthouse. A golden g Oh, but we got gold ore. Yeah. That shouldn't be a problem. Let's go make some. That one's tricky, so we should be in the same place, because the window is so tiny with gold. Yep. This will be good because I'm hoping we can expand, like, continue Jackie's enough to actually um, get his request for his house. <laughs> Would be nice. This is easily my favorite of the mini games. Mm -hmm. The crafting ones. Yeah. I think because it's it's very doable if you just kind of pay attention. You don't have to have perfect reflexes or uh, mm -hmm. control, um, which is nice. But it's also I appreciate how it's different for each metal. It feels flavorful that way. Mm -hmm. Built. Actually, did we ring the bell and wake people up? <laughs> I don't know if Jackie's awake. Look how pretty it is! Oh, I can't handle it. It's so pretty. Yes. 
That's okay, one. Okay, that is. That's one. Oh. Yeah, I see Jackie, but one, one more fish each. <laughs> He is outside. I thought he was inside because I. Shit, he is inside. There we go. What a beaut! As always, Stellar's great work. Such great work, actually, that the bees have already started living in their hive. Now, remember, bees eat flowers. Well, at least they did at Gramps' place. And maybe they can eat some other stuff? Falafel honey? Yeah, better not mess with the proud art of honey making. Anyway, there's a trick to keeping your bees happy. If you want them to give you honey, make sure to keep some mature plants around the hive. When the hive is nice and plump with honey, oh, you just get in there real good. And then you just swipe the sweet, sticky bounty super quick-like. Got it? If you have any questions, uh, just ask. Oh, that makes me think of something else. You know me, I don't need much. I could pretty much sleep anywhere. But I've been thinking... Perfect. See, this is what I wanted. <laughs> You know, as your assistant, living in the same common area as the patients, well, it's a bad look, ain't it? Mm. I really think you should build some kind of staff room. Nothing fancy, just somewhere to lay down after a shift. Four walls and a roof. Mm -hmm. I'm not a guest here, after all. Anyway, just a thought. I hope you can get to it. See ya. Jackie's on-call room. Perfect. Okay, so we'll let those plants grow. We just put sunflowers here, and we just let them stay. Yeah, brilliant. Love it. We're probably good now on celery. I'll plant some carrots. I assume it has to be the plants literally in the same area as the beehive, which is fine. That's my assumption. Yeah, and we have the other farm um, up top if we need to, if we need to grow other stuff. But mm -hmm. perfect. Probably should have done this one the beehive and that one. Yeah, but that's I didn't okay. Realize it would take an entire spot. Yeah, no, it's totally fine. Okay, um, now we need to go to Hikarashima Lighthouse. Unless you wanted to keep fishing. Well, if we go, if we don't do the bus stop, if we just go straight down. It's true. We could come here, even, and try to catch the tuna. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, yeah, that'll give us some time to fish. actually try to catch that fish, which I think is probably worthwhile. This might be another char. Yep. Ooh, that might be a snow crab. Damn. I mean, sure. salmon we very specifically <laughs> need snow crabs. I wonder how rare they are. It's fairly rare. But you know, if we need to do some fishing off camera, we can. daytime thing, you think? Was it, it was daytime when I caught the other one, right? I can double check.
water looks. I tell you what, the colors in this game are probably my actual number one favorite thing about the game. I like a lot of things about this game, but the colors... Oh, they just get me. Oh, beautiful. Snow crabs only come, only come out at night. Okay, alright. And they are specifically around the Colstein Mines area. Okay, alright. Then we'll do some more fishing for those off-camera. Yeah. So, good to know. And we're about at this place, so... I think... Was there something Oops. special with the fishing in the... With the tuna thing? I forget how this worked. Maybe I'll just fish and see what happens. Oh yeah, that's right, yep. Okay. Albacore tuna! Yay. Sure. Okay. So in that case, it's actually fine. I forget where this lighthouse is. Is it this one? Here it is. Okay. Honestly, I'll just take a stare. Yeah. some stuff you'll be able to make with honey, some recipes, right? That we yes. weren't able to do before. Be nice. How you doing, cow? I mean, we need like 25 if we're gonna get the boat upgrade. Yeah. But I'm I'm not as it's fine if we don't. Yeah. I've been doing all this traveling without the faster speed, the fastest speed, so it's okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Hello, Theodore. Well, what do you want? My poor umbrella. <laughs> ah, that's right. Was this where we found Buck? I think so. so pretty. <laughs> it 
It's not just that you're inflated, it's the like squeaky noise mm -hmm. as well. It's just, it's so perfect. Okay, fuck. Guess what? Did it again. Superb! As the second fire of Tondor is lit, clamors of exultation spread throughout the vast expanses of the kingdom. The Chosen One has arrived! She who bears the light will help us all! Glory to the Commander! Glory to Halor! Your heart lifted by such a grandiose acclamation, your soul irradiates with serenity, but your mind remains watchful and perceptive. Okay, so... Stella, in real life, had to have known some pretty big D&D nerds, right? I mean, that's what this is telling us, right? I love it. You know that, stirred by an upheaval that marks their near demise, the orcs of the Shadowsteel clan must be closing on your position. And, lo and behold, roll initiative! 20! Critical! Without a moment of hesitation, you jump into the fray. Taken by surprise, the approaching phalanx of orc fighters... Um, you ready yourself to mow through them with de deafness and style. Fight! Can you critical on a initiative check? Not in any D and D edition I've ever played. That doesn't mean there's not House any. So we got like 11 doing that. That's pretty good, yeah. actually. <laughs> Makes me feel better. Uh, where's Mark? Asleep? Probably. <laughs> like, dude, we just did your encounter. Yeah. He just takes a minute to realize. Yeah. Oh, we could check and see what Jackie's blueprint needs, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, we could do that. The last thing to build. Achievement earned, decked out. What a fight! They didn't stand a chance. What remains of their shattered dark armors is promptly blown away by the swift northern wind. Commander, you were victorious once again! And this time, Gongada couldn't oppose your strength and was heroically slain. The orcs of the Shadow Steel clan shall henceforth dread your might, Commander. Cutting they will have to prove to even attempt to find you. Well, let's not dawdle a second more. Your goal is within your grasp, Commander. Let's set sail again! On to the ultimate fire of Tondor! Indeed. Let's. Shoot, where was it? Sandwich Island. Oh, okay. Sandwich block or something, right? Yeah. 
Uh, I don't know where that is. Neither do I. Let's go towards this hidden thicket. Um, okay. Might as well take Alex. Just because we haven't been there. to the beehive yet. It's okay. Whoops. Oh, no. I wanted to leave. I think only one of us can use the door at a time. Oh, is that what happened? That would make sense, actually. Salmon. Oh, yeah. I feel like um, Francis is always asking for those, right? Yeah, we only caught one. That was one of the very first errands. Maybe it's also a nighttime fish. Also, we kind of did a lot of fishing at the beginning, and then only occasionally. <laughs> now we're trying to do more here at the end. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a clear weather fish, but it's only in the in the on the side of the map. I think mm. we did all our fishing in the beginning on the other side of the map. That makes sense. I can't tell with this, it's like a little enough. Higher. Okay. Uh, okay. Zink. Nice. Huh. Oh, is that it? Is fine. Yeah, might be it. Huh. Maybe on the other side? That's a good question. Ooh. More resources. Yeah. I think that's it. Okay. Cool. Okay, so now for reals, let's find the sidewalk. Sandwich walk? Or sandwich walk. Sandwich walk. Was it one of the things like here, maybe? Blossom. There it is. Okay. Alright, so. Let's just go back to Alex. Yeah, we can't do a straight line. Yeah. Where we are. Hit that edge of map bit. That's a really good point. Another way to get more diamonds might be to talk to Susan. Hmm. Yeah, might be. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Stuart this morning. I'm so used to, like, we spent so much of the game sleeping at night. It's like, oh, right. Now we're, like, just doing stuff through the night. Is that this one? It was over here somewhere. This one. Okay, we'll go here. I wish we could fast travel directly from the map, though. It's a small thing, but it is a little bit... Like, I don't mind having to go to the fast travel point. Like, you have to talk to Alex, and then you have to come back to the map. Yeah. <gasps> Bees! Honey! Oh, that's amazing. That's delightful. Did you notice, Jackie, that we made you a house? I should come look at it anyways. Eh. Oh my god, it's walls and a roof. <laughs> and a bed. Yep. There's also a window and some shelves. Oh. Eh? You actually did it. And it's, um... Mm -hmm. Very... Yeah, well, it's pretty much exactly what I asked for, right? <laughs> I guess I just didn't expect it to all be so drab. Not that I mind. You should see some of the places I've lived. In comparison, this looks like a five-star hotel. But, like, more boring. But in a good way. Boring like meditation or reading. Zen? Is that a word? Anyway, thanks a bunch. I'll be able to assist you much better with this little on-call room. <laughs> okay, I'm very curious about the upgrades for Jackie's place, though. <laughs> hey, Stella. Oh, do you have snacks? you have snack items for me? Come on. Fuck, <laughs> I've never heard of that. <laughs> your playstyle has been so good so far. I mean, your spells can be a bit optimized for sure, but your roleplay is frackin' A. Even Bob was impressed. And, yeah, we've never had a girl at the table before. Oh my god, of course they haven't. We're happy you're here. I'm really happy. I'll try to finish the campaign to the best of my ability. Uh, more NPCs. More background elements. More magic items. Oh, Buck, you're trying so hard. Alright, comfort food. That doesn't have... Fruit or milk. Fruit or milk. <laughs> I wonder if you'd like pancakes. Question meal. Gobi, does that have? <laughs> Praise be Heller. Perfect. Okay. I'm so happy we have bees. Oh yeah, the sheep we never picked up. <laughs> there are two sheep we never picked up. Yeah, well, we have enough sheep. have been lit. Tondor has arisen. The lit god Nor Nimloth is on the verge of being defeated once more. But what is it? What is this terrible ruckus you hear? 
A thousand war horns roar at once. Could it be? Fatefully, yes! The final assault of the Shadow Steel Clan! Led by one eye Almgarath himself. Grothog. Sorry, Almgrothog. Clad in the eldritch armor of Rangmar, Almgrothog points his loathsome blade at you. You won't escape me this time, you miserable maggot. I will destroy you in the hopes of this world. See, I don't mind doing voices when it's like Buck doing the voice. Because <laughs> <laughs> then it's okay that it's bad. Trembling in fear and apprehension, you gather your inner strength to face the enemy. Make a courage check. 18! Success! I'm just waiting for her to rumble a natural one sometime. <laughs> the orc won't scare you, for you are the light bearer! The chosen one! Now the time has come for you to show them what you are made of. Fight! I'm excited to fight, but I'm sad to be at the end of... <laughs> Bucks campaign. Ah, not cool stuff. food stuff when there's red when it's ready there's a little thing over it oh okay that makes sense gotcha i was trying to look for an indicator on the hive like the clock type thing they've had like on the fermenter and stuff but it's different unimaginable <laughs> through the thick mist of the aftermath a silhouette is barely discernible against the terrifying backdrop of a gargantuan battle. All free people of the world are holding their breath, hearts pounding in their chests. A deafening silence creeps in on the atmosphere, thick as rock. Victory! The Chosen One has triumphed! <laughs> Look at Stella's face. She who bears the light has conquered. In a crackling sound of terror, Gore Nimloth's shadow stops immediately its course over the darkened sky. The Lich God is no more. May the Radiant Fae bless our souls. May Heller forever watch over your path. May the graces of Imalda sing our praises for aeons to come. The world is saved. And now, jaded but jolly, the hero stands up once more. Looking at the horizon, her heart fills with hope. Resolve stronger than ever. A chapter of her adventures might be completed, but her story is far from over. Rejoice, free people of the world, for the Chosen One will be back. But for now, she will rest her heavy shoulders, unload her burden, once more gaze at the stars. Ah, damn, I'm tired. <laughs> Congrats! You did it, Stella! Okay, now if you don't mind, I need to take a break. I'll take some time to think about what great adventure we could do next. A space opera with lasers and spaceships? Post-apocalyptic road war setting? Or a horrific eldritch adventure with cosmic horrors, maybe? We'll see. 
I know of a role-playing game for each of those. <laughs> All right, let's talk to Jackie real quick, too. Oh, yes, the bees. Ouch! Jackie, are you getting stung? Uh -huh. What the hell? Stella, I... I... I didn't do nothing wrong, all right? It was these gosh darn little psycho critters. They just lashed out at me. Bunch of lunatics. I'm caring for y'all, all right? You'll be dead if I didn't care for you. So you just pump them full of smoke and dump them off the boat. The little... gosh darn... the... the... the bees. Shit. Shit! I'm doing it again, aren't I? It's Daria all over again. Yeah, a little bit, Jackie. They're just bees. They can't do anything wrong. And Daria, she's... she's just Daria. I don't know why I get like that, Stella. Sometimes, sometimes something happens. Anything. A big noise. Someone says something I don't like or has an attitude or has a bad attitude. And I just, it gets so overwhelming. It feels like I'm drowning. I can't breathe. I can't think. I just start seeing red and then I barely remember what happened. I want to change, Stella. You gotta believe me, please. I just, I don't know how. I thought I could do it by myself, but obviously I, yeah, I'm a chump. I know it. Jackie the Loser. I don't think I haven't heard that one before. Can't do anything right. Always messing up. Just, I, I need some time alone. I can't talk to you right now. You know, it starts with acknowledging the problem, right? Mm. And I think this is a problem Jackie has. Yeah. That's the sign. Oh, I see. Alright. Well, I think that's going to be a good time to end it for today. I'm sure you're going to cook something new for us. Um, and yeah, we'll keep going with Buck and Jackie the next time. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.